Pollyanna. What a ridiculous name. A little girl coming to stay. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? No, it won't be nice. Welcome. I'm so glad to see you. I've been wondering all the way what you'd look like. And I'm very pleased, Aunt Polly. Oh, I'm not Aunt Polly. Your mum wanted to come, but she had um, some urgent reading to do at home. I'm Nancy, her mate. I'm not much to look at. It's the freckles. I sooner they went there. Although father says they're beautiful. Like blossom on a lawn. I just love your house. If I had a house like this, I'd invite everyone over for sandwiches every day. Father always says, said. I have no interest in what your father said. Will you follow me? I love to read. My father always... Pollyanna, there is one thing you should understand now. I do not wish to hear you mention your father again. Ever. But I have to. I think about him all the time. You will not refer to him again. No. duty, reveling pointlessly in a status as village queen bee. As opposed to you, realizing too late in your life that it is empty and trying to fill it with someone else's child. I want to... Hey, you have to know what you just said. It's true, isn't it? It's true. Doctors are always making mistakes. How am I going to go to school? How am I going to go see Miss Snow or Mr. Pendleton? How am I going to run along the beach and do the things that people do? Here's in the end. A child. A lovely child. Please spare a moment to pray that she may walk again. We're doing what it'd be like to be here with you. Hoping you were happy. At the same time hoping you weren't. That's endless sadness and waste. Trust each other. What are you waiting for? Chilton, I've missed you so much. And I have you. No, Pollyanna. This is our moment. <laughs> 